Today we're going to talk about the full story of Lee Dong-wook, one of the most popular and versatile actors in South Korea. Lee Dong-wook was born on November 6, 1981 in Seoul, South Korea. He was interested in acting from a young age, and participated in school plays and theater clubs. He also had a passion for modeling, which made him won the grand prize in the V Ness Model Contest in 1999. This caught the attention of a PD from MBC, who later cast him in a single episode drama called The Secret of Kiyu Kiyu Island. This marked his acting debut at the age of 18. Lee then continued to appear in various teen dramas, such as School 2 and School 3, where he gained recognition for his good looks and charisma. He also enrolled in Jongbu University, majoring in media and broadcasting arts. Lee's breakthrough role came in 2005, when he starred in the romantic comedy My Girl, alongside Lee Da Hae. The drama was a huge hit both domestically and across Asia, and made Lee a Korean wave star. He received praise for his chemistry with Lee Da Hae, and his portrayal of a cold-hearted but lovable Chaebol heir. The same year, he also starred in the horror film Arang, which was based on a Korean folktale. Lee then took on more diverse roles in different genres, such as noir drama, bittersweet life, in 2008, courtroom dramedy drama, partner, in 2009, melodrama, scent of a woman, in 2011, baseball rom-com drama, wild romance, in 2012, period thriller drama, the fugitive of Joseon, in 2013, and revenge drama, Hotel King, in 2014. He also ventured into fantasy action dramas like Blade Man in 2014 and romance drama like Bubblegum in 2015. He proved his versatility and range as an actor, and gained a loyal fanbase. Lee enlisted in the military in August 2009, serving under the National Defense Public Relations Service. He was then discharged in June 2011. During his service, he tried to maintain contact with his fans through letters and videos. After his discharge, Lee made his comeback with Scent of a Woman in 2011, where he played a doctor who falls in love with a terminally ill woman. The drama was well received by critics and viewers, and Lee won several awards for his performance. Lee's career reached new heights with his role as a grim reaper in the fantasy romance drama Goblin, 2016-2017 written by Kim Eun Suk. The drama was a massive success both domestically and internationally, breaking ratings records and becoming one of the most watched Korean dramas of all time. Lee's character was widely loved by fans for his humor, bromance with Gong Yu's character, and romance with Yu in Na's character. Lee also received critical acclaim for his acting skills, and won several awards for his role. Lee then starred in the medical drama Life in 2018 as an ER doctor who clashes with the hospital management. The drama was praised for its realistic portrayal of the medical field and its social issues. Lee then reunited with Yu and Na for the romance comedy drama Touch Your Heart in 2019, where he played a workaholic lawyer who hires an actress as his secretary. The drama was a hit among fans who loved their chemistry from Goblin. Lee also showed his dark side as a psychopath dentist in the thriller drama Hell as Other People in 2019, based on a webtoon of the same name. The drama was praised for its suspenseful plot and chilling atmosphere, and Lee's performance was highly lauded by critics and viewers. Aside from acting, Lee also pursued a career as a host and MC. He co-hosted the talk show Strong Heart, 2012-2013, with comedian Shin Dong Yup where he showcased his witty and charming personality. He also joined the reality show Roommate, 2014-2015, where he lived with other celebrities in a shared house. He also launched his own American-style talk show Wook Talk in 2019, where he invited various guests and had candid conversations with them. Lee was also chosen as an honorary ambassador for the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics, where he attended the opening ceremony and promoted the event. Lee starred in the drama Tale of the Nine-Tailed in 2020, where he played a gumiho, a nine-tailed fox, who falls in love with a human woman. The drama was a hit among fans who loved the fantasy elements and the action scenes. Lee also impressed viewers with his martial arts skills and his charismatic portrayal of the Gumiho. 
Lee also starred in the drama, Bad and Crazy in 2021, where he plays a corrupt detective who develops a split personality that fights for justice. Lee recently star in the spin-off drama of Tale of the Nine Tailed, titled Tale of the Nine Tailed 1938 in 2023, where he reprises his role as the Gumiho. The spin-offs explore different timelines and stories of the Gumiho and his love interests.